Science First and College First are part of our Science Careers Continuum, whose goal is to get Chicago Public School students interested in pursuing environmental science as a career. What I want to be when I grow up is either a marine biologist or I want to be a pharmacist because they actually do work with herbs. We start out with targeting middle school students in Science First and they have the opportunity to come here to the garden for a four week intensive science enrichment summer camp experience. We provide them transportation up from the city here and lunch and we go on lots of field trips and spend lots of time in the garden outside um, doing hands-on science and learning about ecology, botany and botanic gardens. What I want to do when I grow up is well hopefully be a doctor because then I get to help people and I can also use plants because as you might know some plants like herbs and stuff can actually be made into medicine to help cure people. If students enjoy that program, they can repeat it for up to three years. College First is an internship program for juniors and seniors in Chicago Public School high schools. And those students have the opportunity to come here for the entire summer, eight weeks, Monday through Friday. And it's actually a paid internship. So they spend the morning working with professionals throughout the garden depending on what they're interested in. So this year we have some students working in horticulture so they spend time actually planting and weeding and learning about how to care for and grow plants. I work in grounds. It's around the outside of the garden. I deal with everything outside the display gardens so when there's a tree that's dead that needs cutting down or you know we have to plant because to make it look prettier that's what I do. My job kind of deals with science. I want to be some kind of doctor. I'm not sure yet. Maybe a toxicologist or family practice. I'm not sure. We have some students working in our DNA lab doing some pretty advanced DNA research. We have some students working in aquatics who are assisting with a water quality project. We have students working in our education program with uh, Camp CBG, that's a camp program for uh, elementary kids, and they help out with that. So there's all kinds of experiences that kids can have depending on what they're in most interested in. Recently I've been doing my project based on pollinators and the drought like on the roof garden just because I'm very interested in it since my mentor is always talking about it and how different plants change colors due to lack of rain. So they spend the morning doing that and then in the afternoon they actually take um, a class, an environmental science class and receive college credit for it. They're paid for their entire experience so it's a really good opportunity. They're able to repeat college first for up to two years and even move on if they pursue um, that field in undergrad, they're able to come back and do some paid uh, research internships as undergrads. Throughout the summer, Science First and College First students work on independent research projects. They collect data and work in the field, and at the end of their project, they present their data and their conclusions to an audience of visitors, guests, and parents. Doing these independent research projects gives our students real-world, field-based experience that inspires them to really love and be passionate about science. The Science Careers Continuum is comprised of Science First and College First, our middle and high school immersion and college preparation programs, and continues with undergraduate and graduate internships in our research department, and culminates in our collaborative master's and PhD programs in plant biology and conservation in collaboration with Northwestern University. Historically, the program has been funded by a combination of private foundations, government grants, and corporate sponsorships. We believe that this kind of immersive experience, coupled with academic and social support networks, are critical in inspiring young people to succeed in environmental science careers, and we had proof of that this summer in our own students.